Hey, it's your ASMR friend, just checking in on you. I hope you're doing well. And look at that, you give one pet to an animal, they all want pets. Fair enough. So yes, I am back in a galaxy far, far away. I've been to Naboo, I've been to Coruscant, I've even been to Solus, believe it or not. Uh, wouldn't recommend it, but at least I can check it off a list. But I have never been here to Tushara. Tushara, Tushara. And I always want to call it a planet, but actually... It is technically a moon, which is just fascinating to me. I'm originally from Earth, like many of you listening. So when I think of a moon, I think of gray, airless, rocky. When I think of a moon, I certainly don't think of this. Now, up ahead is Miragana. That's where I landed my ship, so I've, you know, been through it a little bit, but today I'm meeting a friend, grab some drinks and probably some food, because she absolutely swears that the Dubak Stew in Miragana is better than the Dubak Stew in Tatooine. Which I just feel like is such a bold statement. Now I'm not from this galaxy far, far away, but it's one of those things where just everyone knows. You know this. It's like pizza is to New York what Dubak Stew is to Tatooine. So I'm, I'm very curious, even though I haven't been to Tatooine myself, maybe I will on this trip. That'd be pretty fun. I still feel like I, well, I have to at least try this, see what it's like, but I'm kind of excited to be part of such a bold statement. I'm, but she swears up and down. She said it on multiple occasions. Oh, it's not like the Dubaks do here. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna try that at some point. Now, this is a far walk. I wish I had a ride. Let me just check the time really quick. Let's get moving. Oh, there we go. What you don't have a speeder bike that you can call using your Dick Tracy watch? Welcome to a galaxy far, far away. Look at that. Sun is just starting to hit. Miragana. The capital city, by the way. Capital city. So I'm very excited. I've been meaning to get back out into this galaxy. You know, I've done some traveling in the No Man's Sky galaxies. So being in a galaxy far, far away, just to pound that into the ground. It's a galaxy far, far away. Don't even look it up. And here we are. Miragana. So yeah, just like with uh, most of my trips, I don't really have a full agenda, you know, I don't have an itinerary per se, but I do know that Miragana is a gambling city. I'm not a huge gambler, I don't, I haven't gambled in quite some time actually, but hey, 
when in Rome, do as the Romans do. So, you know, gamble a little bit. But I just want to check out the city. Try the food. Try the coffee. Try the drinks. Just sort of live, you know? Just sort of feel out the world. I guess I've been especially curious ever since I moved to Night City. Okay, see, so, you now we're okay, right? That's kind of the funny thing is I technically help the rebels on Solus, but uh, I think the Empire is a little bit busier chasing, uh, you know, bigger fish to fry, if you will. It is interesting coming back to this galaxy. Mm, I don't know if I'm neutral, but I guess technically an outlaw, as they may say. But the way I see it, I'm just a simple ASMR artist trying to make his way in the galaxy. All right, well, since my friend won't be here for a while, this guy's inviting us in. Hey, Sabat. Okay, so just right off the bat, I I don't know exactly what I'm doing in this game. My level of gambling is at blackjack. 21, I get it. I do understand that I want to try to get two matching cards. A yellow matching the red with the same numbers to get Sabat. Um, I'll draw with this one, even though I think the imposter card could be good, uh, I think, let's just see if we can get a better card, again I don't quite know what I'm doing, and well, we're gonna just get rid of that one then, what a lovely waste of a turn. I mean, that's where I'm at with gambling, you know. I set a certain amount I'm willing to lose, and if I do that, I call it a night. You know? but those are cool gloves, by the way. Yeah. And later, I see your gloves, too. They look nice as well. Yeah. Alright, well. I also know that I have these... I call them cheat cards, but I think they're called uh, draw cards or something. They're definitely not draw cards. <laughs> draw tokens? Something like that. And I feel like I'm already spent a couple chips because I have tax. So I'm going to use free draw. See if I can get. Is that not the exact same card I just picked up last time? Is this game rigged? I don't actually want to say that out loud because uh, <laughs> I am a tourist. And this is way far out of my jurisdiction. This is not Night City. I do not have my cyberware. Tax another chip. I'm out of chips. Does that mean I can't draw next time then? Fascinating. I know you're on the edge of your seat to find out. Oh, no, no. Well, I guess I'll I'll stand. Next player must stay. Oh she's screwing you over, pal. Better not Haha. <laughs> wow, revenge of the Rodian. Okay, here we go. Even though I don't think it matters because none of these symbols line up. Sure, 
kadın. She got the bark. He got the bark. He got the bark. I was the only one to not go the bark. Okay, and it must be that they're lo lo you want the lower cards. Congrats, congrats, yeah. Okay, we we gotta go again. Let's. Let's try it, right? Never tell me the odds, though. All right. And now here's where my ignorance is in full swing. I have no idea what this card is. I have no idea what it means. And I'm not going to ask them. But hey. Help me out. Let's try to see if we can get a lower card. Oh, why didn't I just grab that one? I don't even know what happens now. What happens if I have two imposter cards? This is on your edge ASMR, on your seat. What is going to happen in this game of Sabak? 20 people in the world are infested to find out. Assuming those 20 people even got this far in the video. Tax them out. How about that? Other players are taxed. You're welcome. Oh. Oh, I'm nervous. Because it does that mean like, oh, you have nothing? You can't put these two at the end. They mean nothing. Or is like, no, actually, you have an amazing hand. Those two cards. Your ASMR friend's ignorance is on full force. I'm not sure about it. We're going to discard that one. My name is Austin Danger Powers. Because I also like to live dangerously. I know Sabak experts are going to watch this. And just be livid. Cringe. You have no idea how to play Sabak. Come on, come on. Hurry up. Okay, turn. Mm. What are the cards? Oh, I can't draw. I have to stand. Well then, uh, a big tip I have for playing Spock is to pay attention and probably read up about it before you gamble your hard-earned money. Just roll the dice. This is tense. Yes. By golly. He did it. Your ace more friends did it. Well. Give me my money. All right, well, maybe drinks will be on me tonight. My friend's probably still not there. Mm. Let's just walk around a little bit. So again, yeah, while I'm out here, I have no real agenda in my vacation. You know, I don't 
have riding lessons or bungee jumping and whatnot. Again, I just I just like to get a place that I need to rest my head for a couple hours. Somewhere I can just walk around, grab something to drink, something to eat. If I want solidarity, I can hop on a speeder if I can get out of town. I can even hop into the Starcraft and go to space. I have a lot of options. A little bit quieter than it was when I initially walked through here, but uh, that's all right. So we have this cool bar area. Grab some food. Earlier I did grab some street tacos because it's just kind of like a golden rule. If you see a taco truck, you gotta try it. And yeah, I mean, sometimes you do get bad tacos, though. That is the sad reality. But you gotta take that risk. Look at that food. Your stomach growling yet? You can buy parts in this marketplace. They, they, they really do have a lot. It's pretty cool. Check upstairs a little bit. You know, I suppose I could have my friend give me some recommendations of where to go when I'm here. But it's also kind of just fun to walk around, check it out for yourself. Some beef jerky would sound pretty good right now, but. We'll probably grab a Dubex too. I don't know if we'll do that tonight. You know, maybe we'll save that for another day, but drinks for sure. Because I have not seen her for a while. Mm. And now I'm getting hungry. Now I actually am getting hungry. That looks good. Mm -hmm. Quite the spread. Yeah, if you're, I don't know, if you're looking for a vacation, maybe a galaxy far, far away. So far, I gotta say, I'm quite digging Miragana. <laughs> now, is it me? Or is that one a little short to be a stormtrooper? I'm just saying, I. Usually, I feel like they're taller. I like this old school cafeteria bar. It's funny, too, where you know, a little bit of this place reminds me of Night City. Almost the way. Kabuki, or not quite Dogtown. Uh, this place is actually nice, a lot nicer than Dogtown. I can't believe I almost just said that. It's more like Kabuki in a way, I would say. Just the way it's so tightly packed. Street food, place to grab a drink everywhere. I like that presentation. Great chef there, by the way. That's where I had the food, and it was amazing. Oh. So yeah, you can buy all sorts of things, do all sorts of stuff. Oh my gosh. I should see if my friend wants to get food back here. It would be more responsible to get food before you drink, right? It's not usually the rule. 
We'll see. I don't, a drink sounds good too, so we'll, we'll see. It does smell good though. It's similar to Night City too, where perhaps one whiff is really delicious. And one whiff is, oof, something's going on here. You know. Is there a porta potty nearby? But that's just sort of city life, you know? Regana. cool just this place being in this cave and you know apparently just this is generations of of infrastructure I haven't really looked into of what what it must have been like in the early stages of this city you know does it I'm sure it looks vastly different or was it always this big? Did it start in this small cave and they expanded? Or was the size of it always this idea? <laughs> Man, I always thought it'd be so cool to have a protocol droid. And let's be honest. I want you to be 100% honest with me. If you had a protocol droid, like 90% of their tax, task would be cleaning, wouldn't it? Cleaning, or just even just do my laundry. Can I rent a protocol droid? Just come by once a week, do my laundry. I would do that in a heartbeat. And I think you would too. I, I get it now. My friend, you know, she has told me how much she loves Miragana. I've told her how much I love Night City when I moved there and how it feels like home. And I gotta say, I think I get it. Miragana, I, I, I can see it. Kind of similar vibes, at least in that market space. I mean, they have a wasteland just like the Badlands. <laughs> oh, okay, so we found another way into the market, didn't we? We've come full. so nice in here. Smells good too. That food. Excuse me? Pardon me. <laughs> Could do the jukebox even. But I don't want to risk copyright music. You know, the laws in this galaxy, this far, far away galaxy. I'd rather stay on the other side of the law. Even though earlier in this video I said, I'm kind of living like an outlaw. What I'm trying to say is that people are complicated. Your ace, my friend, is complicated. I'm just a simple man trying to mend my way through the galaxy. Yeah, I know. You said that before. I know. I 
I'm just like, I, again, I haven't seen my friend for a while. Curious to see what she's been up to. And here we are again. The Miragana Park. You can see it from above there. I'm just there. Sometimes I like to do a little jog. Because why not? Get your cardio up a little bit. Got graffiti on the wall. Now that would be interesting. I could graffiti a wall, tag a wall as it would say, become a tomb in this galaxy far, far away. Uh, but again, that's not why I'm here, so we are gonna, we're just hanging out. Again, an astromech droid too. Which would be great, but like, where would I store that thing? And would it actually be useful in Night City? Alright. My friend is still not here. But, unless she's inside. Sneaky little bugger's already inside. I don't think she is. But that would be funny. But we might as well go in. Show you around. <laughs> Hope they get a nice payday. Pretty cool, right? I love bar setups like that. I wonder if anyone's gonna try to sell us death sticks in here. It feels like the type of bar that someone would try to sell you death sticks at. Could play the jukebox here. Start dancing on the tables. Get nuts, right? No. I think I'm just gonna hang out and wait for my friend, but I thought I would just show you a little bit, just a taste of Miragana. And remember, be kind to yourself and be well.